The Victron Servo Communication Centre is the heart of the Victron ecosystem, enabling seamless monitoring and control of both onboard and land-based systems. This versatile device also supports integration with third-party products, allowing them to display information locally on the Servo touchscreen or Ecrano display, or even remotely through the Victron Remote Monitoring VRM system. One compatible product is the RuviTag, a Bluetooth sensor designed to monitor environmental conditions. Once paired with the Servo, the RuviTag provides real-time data on temperature, humidity, movement and air pressure. This information is also accessible on the VRM portal, allowing you to view historic data and graphs remotely. The RuviTag is available in two types, the standard form and the pro form. The main difference being the pro form can be mounted outside. To activate the RuviTag, simply take it from the box and remove the battery tab and this initiates the Bluetooth communications with the servo. We're now going to look at how to set up a RuviTag with the servo. You touch the main page, then you select settings, then the firmware to check that the servo is 2.8 or higher, as this is the version the RuviTag was integrated with. If this is all okay, then go back to the settings menu. Select Bluetooth and ensure that this is enabled. You then go back to the settings menu, select IO, and the Bluetooth sensors. Ensure that this is enabled and then below a list of the available sensors will be shown. Then go back to the device list and a generic temperature sensor will now show with some data. Select this device and you can give it a name, say main cabin. Once you have confirmed this, the name will now show in the device list and on the VRM portal. This is all the setup required to use the RuviTag to show the data. Now one really cool feature is that the RuviTag can be used to operate the servo relay. Maybe turn on a heater at a certain temperature to prevent frost or an extractor fan when the humidity has risen above a certain point. To do this, you go into the menu, select settings, select relay. You will then see two relays. Relay one can be activated by a number of parameters but Relay 2 only has two. It can be activated manually or by temperature. Select temperature, go back and select temperature control rules. Select the RUVI, select Relay 2 and set the activation temperature and the deactivation temperature. As you can see, this is a great addition to the servo. If you would like more information on the RUVI tag, please click the link below or contact the technical sales team.